guys, how are you doing? This is Bayo Adio, your favorite Nigerian American on YouTube, also known as the Nigerian Nomad. So this time I am in Nigeria, um, this time, and what we're doing is we're furnishing an Airbnb. So I wanted to use this opportunity. Usually we get furnished places, but this is the first time we're actually furnishing everything in our home. So I wanted to give you guys an idea. If you guys are buying an apartment, a house, furnishing an Airbnb, I wanted to give you guys an idea of how much the electronics part cost. So we've went to different stores like Hisense, LG, Samsung, ShopRite, different places. But we were here, so I decided to come to a store that's called Cash and Carry. Cash and Carry has been around for a long time, ever since I was little. But anyways, they have decent prices in some things, and some things I'd rather buy at the other store. Which the store that on the island part of Lagos, things were a bit pricier. But this was on the island, so it's decent. But the place where I saw the best prices was on the mainland in the Ikeja Mall, Shoprite Mall. Their prices were just, it gave me hope. Because after seeing all these prices here, I was discouraged. <laughs> but after we went there, I'm like, ah, thank God. But anyways, that is Cash and Carry. So let us go in there and check out the prices of things. Are you looking to relocate, invest, have a second home? or retire in Nigeria? If so, I have an opportunity for you. I would like to introduce you to the Green Paradise community. Visit thegreenparadise.com. We're looking forward to having you join our community. See you there. I just wanted to take this opportunity to give you guys roughly a price of how much things cost. So as you guys can see, iron, 9,000 naira, 7,000 naira, 10,000 naira uh, for the hot water maker. 19k, 19,000, 19,000, somewhere around that range, close to 20,000. They also have expensive ones, up to 45 k 22k. So it just kind of depends on your taste. This is a foreign brand, Black & Decker, so it's more expensive. Alright, what else? Um, air fryers. Air fryers? Holy crap! Okay, so they have a 63,000 for a smaller size and then 103,000 for a bigger size. A toaster for bread is roughly 20,000 naira. So yeah, blenders. I'm looking at blenders here. Where are the prices? Sorry, excuse me. Yep. So you said you did like, one. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. How many? Uh, just one. Okay. Blender is 20,000 for a small one. And then for. Yeah, okay, yeah. 20,000 for like a blender mixer. 23,000. Get your nice blender. All right. These are all the small items sometimes that we need to put in here. Oh, more blenders here. So just know around 20, 23,000. 12,000. So this one is cheaper. 12,000, 15,000. This is a very popular like brand in Nigeria, Stamp Frost, 29,000. Okay. Oh, coffee maker. Wow, coffee maker is kind of high. Okay. Coffee maker is 50,000. Man, I didn't think that would be that expensive. I think it's because it has electronics. All right. Um, food processor, 54,000. All right, let's go check out other things. TVs. So TVs here, I'm seeing 58,000 for a small one. Um, 61,000, 155,000, it just gives price. Let's go check out a bigger size TV. Okay, so like a bigger size TV, I'm not sure how many inches this is, but this is roughly 271,000. Oh, I'm trying to find the inches. So this is a uh, 55 inch right here. So just to give you a frame of reference, so 55 inch is like 316,000 there. This one is 65. 
Almost the same price actually. So the same price, 316. I wonder what the difference is. Okay, so that's uh, TVs. Now we need to check out stove, fridge, and fan, and ACs. Let's go check out. So typically when you have an apartment, there's typically an AC in every room. So like the apartment that we got that's a three bedroom apartment, there's AC in bedroom one, bedroom two, bedroom three. There's AC in the living room and there's AC in the dining room and in the kitchen sometimes. So each of these fans, they range anywhere from like 180,000 Naira all the way to like 270, 300,000 Naira. It just, it's depending on, on the quality, the horsepower, the brand and all of that stuff. So that's just a general idea of what the AC is look like. You guys can see this one is 283,000. It's a, this European brand. And this one is 179,000. So yeah, so the prices vary. But the horsepower also matters. Other things that matter as well is this inverter system. So that means if you have like a solar panels with the battery and an inverter you'll be able to use these ACs for those type of things all right let's check our fans <coughs> fans are seen for like 30,000 roughly all the way to 50,000 all right so now we need the stove the stove at the upstairs stove and fridge <laughs> okay so the washer and dryers, they vary anywhere from like 300,000 to 600,000. Sorry, sorry, we're just documenting pricing here. All right, so this one is 332,000, for example. So I think the difference in price here is that they have different size capacity. There's seven ki kilograms in terms of what it can fit, up to 10 kilograms, and then there's different brands. So in Nigeria, mainly, it's a washing and drying company that most people have. They don't have a separate like dryer, separate washer. Common is a washing and drying company. Okay, so that's kind of what the price range is for that. Now, fridge. Oh, let's talk about stove. So the apartment that we have now has this type of size. So it depends on how they cut it, but what we have to buy is this size. So the pricing here, I'm seeing 300,000, 268,000 for these type of stoves, um, roughly. And you can see they have these here. They're a lot cheaper, like this one is 81,000. This one is 84,000. Probably not the highest quality in terms of finishing um, or elasticity. Or you can come to these guys, you can tell the finishing is wood grain. This is 141,000. This one is almost 300,000. So yeah, it just depends on the quality. Scanforce has been a decent brand. Um, so you can, again, you can go low or high, depending on like how much finishing you like and how much quality that you like and if you want brand name it just kind of depends on you so hopefully that gives you guys a range so range of stove that i'm seeing here is anywhere from eighty thousand all the way to like three hundred fifty four hundred thousand okay um depending on the width they have these ones that's most common that's the size or they have the one that has more brands so yeah this one is one hundred and ninety one thousand this is like my favorite one <laughs> All right, so now the last thing that we need to talk about is fridges. So let's talk about fridge. So for fridge, like this is almost 900,000. As well, for fridge, obviously it depends on size. Like whether you get like the ones that open, that has like two open doors like that. Or, you can go as low for the fridge. The lowest I've seen is like 175 to 200,000. But we can go check those out. So 
like these ones here, they're just like here. There's no like fancy window, but these are still on the high side. I'm seeing 347. I'm seeing ooh, 437. Let's look at cheaper ones. Yeah, 400. Wow, okay. So at this store, they're actually priced a little bit higher. But we have shopped at another store where we saw them for around low 200s, 175,000. Oh, these are cheaper ones right here. 286 and 281. So just no fridge, depending on the size. You're going to go anywhere from 175,000 there and now all the way to 900,000 to a million there. Anybody that come and meet me for this class, I'm going to kill that person. <laughs> Again, it depends on your taste. So hopefully that gives you guys, I just wanted to give you guys a rough idea of like when you want to furnish your apartment or Airbnb with electronics. This is just the electronics, not curtains, bed sheets. I just wanted to give you guys a quote of how much to budget in electronics. What else am I missing? We've talked about TVs, we've talked about AC, stove, fridge, refrigerator, um, irons, we've talked about that. All the small appliances, we've talked about that. Um, the only thing is maybe lamps. Lamps can be anywhere from fifteen to 20000 And I usually get like an uninterrupted power supply for the internet and TV. That could be anywhere from like forty to 70000 So that's a summary. All right, thanks. Beko is not made in China. Beko and Boat are not made in China. What about Nexus? China. China, Scan for in Kong. China. Oh, okay, so do anything not made in China that's is right. higher even quality. Those, even those have if you watch very well, that's why the price is very high. Because mm, the last the bit. Good. Time. I will show you. That's our freezer there. Yes. Okay. Okay, this one has an appetite. At the same time, um, at the same time, that I go my marble top, you can use a chopper as a kitchen. Mm. I will open all the fridge. The finish is very different. Yeah. The finishing of this is very different. Okay. Yeah. But that's a good tip. Now that this is now a white color. Okay. Let me show you. Okay. So since we're looking at deep freezer prices. Yeah, the finish is very different. So what's different in the finishing here? The finishing, the cut is just cleaner. Or it feels and better. Again, if I'm talking about the durability. Yes, yeah. so Beko is better. So this is the brand that he's talking about. Beko, yeah, from top uh, European. Top European brand, of higher quality. Right? <laughs> All right, thank you so much, son. All right, so that also gives you guys a tip. If you're shopping, there's Beko brand, there's Scanfrost, there's Nexus, and there's a whole bunch of brands that I've never heard of before. Are they all just general from Chinese? L let me show you. It's only a bit in Bosch. Okay, Bosch. Okay, that's German. German brand. That's a German. Brand. Let me let me show you this. One. So like this one now. Okay, this is Bosch. This is Beko. This one. Beko too. Is Beko. Okay, Nexus. Okay, so like this one, I've never heard of it, Brum, but it looks good. It's very okay to come. Where is Brum? Where's that one from? China too. Huh? China. China too, okay, okay, okay. What about... This is the one that I was considering. Where is it? Nexus. Is Nexus China. a decent, okay brand? It's okay. Brand. Nexus and Scan first, which one would you say is better? On the same level. On the same level. Okay. Are you looking to relocate, invest, have a second home, or retire in Nigeria? If so, I have an opportunity for you. I would like to introduce you to the Green Paradise community. Visit thegreenparadise.com. We're looking forward to having you join our community. See you there. So, in Nigeria, they also have, they have to, kind of two types of washer. They have some that's like wash and dry with heat, but they also have ones that you can wash and it spins it to dry it. That way you can kind of hang it out or just it spins, it gets it very, very close to dry. It just doesn't use heat. So it just spins the clothes till it dries up. So they have this type here. 
that's actually pretty cool. And then they have these ones. If you guys have watched one of my videos a long time ago, I actually did a demo on how this works. This is a newer version. So again, this one you wash, and then you can put the clothes in here for it to spin. It actually worked. We end, Initially, when we got here, we didn't like it, but we ended up loving this over time. We just had to get used to it. So yeah, so those are your options with wash and dryer too. I just wanted to emphasize that. We're still debating if this is a good fit for Airbnb or not. <laughs> All right. typically do returns or exchanges <laughs> so I really want you guys to understand that I remember when I came here I was so pissed off so mad at a whole bunch of people because I was so used to like if something doesn't work I was so used to exchanging it at the minimum or getting store credit or getting my money back some stores would give you store credit but most of the time there's no exchanges there's no return so once you walk out of that door you're on your own so now what we're doing, this is where our Nanjian Street Smarts come. So now at the fund that we're buying, we are putting it together there at the store. We're going to test it to make sure everything looks, everything works fine before we take it home. Sometimes this is just some of the things that you have to do. If, sometimes other people allow it, sometimes others won't. But if you can, I would like try it out, test it out before you walk out of that store. All right, guys, I just wanted to give you guys that extra tip because you guys are watching this video. All right, see you. That's it. <laughs> it's time to go test this thing now. Thank you, Olga. It has a remote control. All right, guys. So I hope that gives you guys a rough idea of how much electronics cost. Uh, if you guys want to furnish your apartment or a house in Nigeria, let me know if you have any questions. What do you guys think of the price? Is it too high, too low? Just let me give me your whole opinion. And if you enjoyed this video and you think it has been valuable and insightful, hit the like button. If you like more contents like this, hit subscribe. If you'd like to donate, hit the donate button, give me a tip, it will help keep the bills paid. And lastly, remember, it's your time to rise and let your light shine. Peace! Thank you.